you've been finding out about a, a a big player in the music scene, Tony Braxton. That's right. It was announced that she will be coming here in November. She'll be in Johannesburg and then going to Cape Town. But here's the thing. Tickets for Joburg are ranging from about 790 Rand to about 2,800. And I know. Wow. <laughs> According to me, I think that's a bit too steep. Yes. But maybe true fans will appreciate that. will still appreciate her and they will pay it. And speaking of true fans... I did speak to some, and they sang me some of their favorite songs by the songstress. Shall we take a listen? Absolutely. Mm. Unbreak my heart, say you love me again. Undo this hurt you caused when you walked out the door and walked out of my life. I don't want to... Sing another love song, baby. I don't want to have another melody. You are so yesterday. Don't want to talk about the same. I don't want me to say. Undo this hurt. She got to be what all the blue. What all of my life. I'm crying this tears. I so many, many nights. That's my favorite song. I think it's everybody's favorite song. <laughs> That's a song that was abused on Idol. <laughs> I was gonna, I'd, I'd, I'd pay to watch them. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody asked me to sing. <laughs> Haven't you heard my reputation? You can still record your voice. <laughs> you can still record your video. <laughs> okay, so, uh, um, so we look forward to that, obviously. Obviously, yes, it's going to be yes. amazing. <laughs> Trevor Noah. That we were still trying to absorb how much exactly. money that man has made. So much money. You know, if he comes here, he would pretty much be, let's say, he, he was, his net worth would be about 423 million rands. Mm. So that's like almost half a billion. He's almost a billionaire if he comes that's, here. That's insane. The fourth richest comedian <laughs> the in the world. The fourth richest comedian. And he made most of this from traveling the globe with his comedy shows. And then there was his gig, the Daily Show gig, mm -hmm. TV. Um, he's a TV producer, film producer, Netflix specials. And there's also book deals. It's actually quite amazing. And in his book, which is still a number one seller, Born a Crime, he talks about his... Um, philosophy with money and his relationship with money and he says that um, the first time he got money he learned that um, having money gives you choices and the more money you have the more choices that you have and that's the biggest lesson that he's learned right. when it comes to money and clearly you got to work hard because that man yes. ain't no sloth oh he? no not no, at no, no. all I think he's the hardest working or the busiest comedian yeah. or the hardest working man in comedy at I the mean, moment. You even see him off camera when he's just talking to the 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 yes. audience i mean he doesn't sit down for a minute and look no, through his papers he he's constantly does. sparring trying his stuff his material on there absolutely those mm. moments when they are unscripted he's constantly constantly working okay yes so social media and its reaction to Dineo mukwetsi yes the fact Why that she paid lobola for her husband at yeah. first i suppose it was a surprise to a lot of people, a lot of people were shocked. But then she puts it into context, saying that her and her now husband Solo have an ancestral calling. And because of that, her ancestors came to her in a dream saying that she also needs to pay Lobola for the husband. So they both paid Lobola in order to appease the ancestors and so that they can coexist peacefully together without fighting. Okay, well, if yeah. you've been called to do it, you've been called to you've do been it. called to do it. What else is coming up? <laughs> so this weekend is very busy, quite interesting. Bob Kaifa Semenya turned 80, as we know, so he's celebrating at the Market Theatre tomorrow night with friends who will be singing some of his songs. There'll be a dinner and then a concert for the public. And then also at uh, tonight at Carnival City, if you like some soul and R&B, then you can listen to Lira, Berita, and uh, US musician Selena Johnson. They will be there performing. Oh, how cool. Yeah. That's a busy weekend. Very busy. And happy birthday to him. Thank you very much for coming in, Lynn. <laughs>